Good morning children. It's time for today's EVS class. We are doing the 11th chapter Valley of Flowers. Today's subtopic is Types of Flowering Plants. The targeted learning outcome of today's class is to know about different types of flowering plants with suitable examples. The competences covered here are observation and identification. Before starting today's class, let us quickly revise what you have learnt in the previous class. In our last class, you have learnt that a valley is a land between hills or mountains. Valley of Flowers is a national park located in the state of Uttarakhand. A national park is a large area of land which is protected by the government because of its natural beauty, plants or animals. There are 105 national parks in India. Out of them, 5 national parks are in Assam. Children, all of you know that flowers are very beautiful. They are of different colors. Today, let us observe some flowers. This is a page from your textbook, page number 86. Here, pictures of few flowers are given. Can you recognize these flowers? Let us observe. Look here. This is the picture of a rose or gulab. It comes in various colors, but the most common color is red. This is the picture of hibiscus or china rose. Hibiscus also comes in various shades. This is sunflower or surajmukhi. Sunflower also comes in various colors like orange, bright red, brown. This is picture of marigold. It is known as Gende Kaful in Hindi. Marigold also has different types. This is Plumeria or Champa. Look here, the picture of Chameli or Jasmine. These are the flowers of Holy Basil or Tulsi. Holy basil also has different varieties. This is night queen or ratrani. This is dahlia. Dahlia also comes in different colors and shapes. Children, do all flowers grow in the same type of plant? No. As you all know that plants are of different types. Trees, shrubs, herbs, creepers and climbers. Look here. These are trees. Flowering trees. What are trees? Very big plants with hard woody stem and many branches are called trees. Gulmohar tree and silk cotton tree are flowering trees. This is the picture of holy basil and lavender. They are herbs. Small plants with soft stem and branches are called herbs. Holy basil and lavender are flowering herbs. Shrubs are medium sized plants with erect stem and branches. Rose and hibiscus are shrubs. Plants which crawl on the ground for support are called creepers. Rangoon creeper or Madhu Malati and Morning Glory or Shank Pushpi are flowering creepers. Plants which, which climb on other trees or walls for support are called climbers. Bougainvillea and climbing rose are examples of flowering climbers. 
Apart from this, some plants also grow in water. They are called water plants. Lotus and water lily are examples of water plants. So children, today you have learned that trees are very big plants with hard woody stem and many branches. Example of flowering trees are gulmohar tree and silk cotton tree. Herbs are small plants with soft stem and branches. Example of flowering herbs are holy basil and lavender. Shrubs are medium sized plants with erect stem and branches. Examples of flowering shrubs are rose and hibiscus. Creepers are plants which crawl on the ground for support. Examples of flowering creepers are Rangoon creeper or Madhumalati and Morning Glory or Shankpushpi. Climbers are plants which climb on other trees or walls for support. Example of flowering climbers are Bougainvillea and Climbing Rose. Water plants are plants that grow on water. Example are Lotus Water Lily. So children, write down the answers of these questions in your notebook. Name two flowering plants of the following types. Trees, herbs, shrubs, creepers and climbers. Question number two. Draw any five flowers and write their names. Children, write down these answers in your notebook and learn the answers with their spellings. That's all in today's class. Thank you.